In this video, I'm going to show you how you can change the fonts, the H1 tags that you have on your editor to the same look as your page. If I give you an example, this is my page, but uh, you can see my fonts are in blue and I'll have uh, other fonts H1 text down there and then so you can make this your page look the same in your editor while you're editing your post or the page uh, to do that you need to install a plugin called a tiny mice advanced and if I I have already got my installed so you can see the advanced tiny mice here Then you go into settings and advanced tiny mice. And you can see what I have on my bars, but you can pick and drop whatever you want in the bar so it will stay there. And it's you can customize your tiny mice the way you want now for the change to be made you need to log into your C panel and then go into file manager I find cPanel a lot easier to use uh, than FTP because you have to download the file and edit it and upload it again. It can be done but I like it uh, where I can edit the file on the server right away. Uh, we go and browse into WP content folder and then themes folder. And I'm using GBP Central 2. The rest, uh, you can see, I normally test all the themes out, but I'm using this one at present right now. So I'm going to open that folder. And I'm going to create a new file for the style CSS that's been used in the theme. name it custom you can name whatever you want it's up to you but I mean I'm, I'm naming it customer editor style CSS so I know exactly what that style CSS file is the file is created so what we're going to do is take style CSS code from here and copy it in that file uh, if you make any changes in your forms then uh, obviously you have to make the changes in the custom file as well but uh, normally you just stay with the fonts that you like best on the theme And we're going to copy the whole file so I'm going to select all and copy and one thing you're going to make a note of is what is used for your post content uh, all themes use different some use post by itself dot post uh, some use different tags uh, my one I'm using art dash post content so you need to keep a note of that uh, so that it's it's the same in the functions PHP file uh, post content is in my case so I'm going to copy the code and go in my uh, custom file 
that I just created and pasted code in there. Open that file. Edit the file. Click on edit again. And you can see it's a blank uh, file. So I'm going to paste that code in here and save the file. The other change you need to make is uh, going into functions file or you can create your own functions PHP file. Uh, if you're using if you're using the default 2011 theme then it's always uh, advisable to make the change in the child theme not in the parent theme in my case I this is a custom theme that I made with artist here and I'm the only one who will be changing it in there so I can change it in functions file directly I have the code already in my functions PHP file as you can see. Uh, you copy the code from my website, the article, and the two changes you make is a custom editor style CSS. That's the file, the code that you, the file that we created. If you, whatever name you gave is the one that you'll be putting down here. Another change you'll be making is the art. I've got art dash post content. In your case, you would have something different. So that's the one that you will be changing. The two changes we made, and you save the file. You tell me that I have, don't, haven't made any changes, so that's why we're not saving the file because it's already there. Now, if we go on to my pages I should be able to see the fonts the same color as my pages Going to our home page. Um, the reason it's not showing the font says. The uh, it took a change a little bit later because it's uploaded the file so now you can see that my fonts are in color the same color that I'm using in my page and I hope this video has helped you on how to use the same font that you use on a page so that you don't have to preview your pages every time you make a change on it thank you